So, oh, is that the bees today? Videotaped uh, about 15 minutes worth of tape, uh, video, and I showed you know what I was doing all I all I did was really I just showed up and I was just cleaning out the front entrance again checking on them listening my one hive uh, my powerful hive going into last year I could hear them right away and some came out flying and none stung me which is but some of them did land on me and one on my face and a couple on my jackets, but they didn't do anything. They just said hello and left. And then I cleaned out the opening of my other hive and I didn't hear anything. So, you know, I kept cleaning and got rid of all the dead bees and everything. And then I uh, still didn't hear anything, so I did the old knock on the side of the wall. I don't recommend to do that often. <laughs> but anyway, I heard some noise. I did hear them. So not as active as my other hive, but both my hives are still alive. This is a uh, crisis. March 28th and yeah so it was plus three degrees Celsius and that's around 33 Fahrenheit I believe or 35 Fahrenheit somewhere around there still not nice enough to open up the hives but Always nice to know they're there. So I got home after all this work and taping. And I was all proud and happy. I had a great video. It said a whole bunch of stuff. And it wouldn't load onto my computer. Don't know what happened. But it wouldn't accept. The, the, the SD card at all or something, it wouldn't read it. So a little bit of playing around, couldn't figure out nothing. And then I formatted the SD card and took a picture and plugged it in the computer and oh hey look it's loading my picture. So I had to format the card which meant well, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, get my computer to read the SD card at all before that. So I lost the video that I did today. That was I thought miraculous. I mean, insightful. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> so I'll have to do all that over again. Explain everything once again. In the meantime, I'm still waiting for some books, some more books from Princeton actually, yeah, Princeton University, Ooh. we'll see, we'll see, but hey, I'm waiting for them, it's going to be a while, and I have some more boxes coming, and some more tops, and more bottoms, and so I got more hives that I'll be able to do my splits this year and uh, expand a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy. I, I just can't. I wish, really wish I could. I really, really do wish I could. And I do what I can. And Hopefully I can build something. <sighs> it's 
stagnate and die. No. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, so sorry you didn't get to see that video. But the bees are doing good. They're alive. We are going into the start of April. So the very next day that's Oh, around you know 10 degrees Celsius and above I'm gonna get in there and uh, see what the food stores are uh, they do feel like they're getting a little light so I'm probably gonna have to put some feed on them of some type and maybe some palm patties we'll see what's coming in uh, snow everywhere on the ground still so We'll see. Things are starting to couple couple of the uh, maples, the Manitoba maples and stuff like that. I can I can see buds starting getting bigger and bigger now. So soon, soon we'll get tacking and we'll be able to get this all going. Uh, I'm hoping this is going to be a real good year. <laughs> it's always a hope that it's going to be. All right, so. We'll see you the next time.